Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert Mr. Atul from Team K21 Academy will be discussing about Identity and Access Management that is IAM. So let's get into the video. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure consists of five core services that includes Identity and Access Management, Compute that's a different type of virtual machine bare metal dedicated, Networking, Storage, and database systems. What are subtopics that you must learn in each of these five core services? I'm going to cover all this in five part video series starting from this one. Welcome to another episode of weekly video series with me Atul Kumar from team K2 Academy where we help you in your journey to cloud from complete beginner where you're starting out from foundation to the next level which is associate be it architect operations or developer or to the professional level which is certification 100997. So the first topic you should be learning is identity and access management that includes both basic and advanced identity and access management. Now. Identity access management consists of users and groups or instance principle that makes your identity which is on left hand side. Now, as a part of identity access management, you are protecting these resources which you put together into a compartment which is nothing but a logical collection of these resources and then you apply appropriate policies that dictates who can do what on these resources. So let's assume you have a group of network administrator you put all your network resources into a compartment which is network compartment and give administrative privileges to the network group on the network compartment. Similarly, all the databases you club together into a DBA compartment and give all your database administrators access to this compartment or manage access on this DBA compartment, which means users who are part of the network compartment, they will not be able to delete or create databases. Similarly, the members of DBA group will not be able to create or manage network resources, but they will be able to use it. So that's your users, groups, compartments, policies that make up your identity and access management. Now, as I said just now, the compartment is logical collection of these resources on which you apply policies and that gives access to the users and there can be nested compartments as well. So learn about compartment. Then another topic you should be knowing is about tags which is you can any resource that you create in OCI, you can tag it, then these tags can then later be used for cost tracking and for some other purposes as well. Now, all these topics are part of basic identity nexus management, then a more advanced could be multi-factor authentication, where you can use, apart from username password, you need one more method to authenticate to OCI. Apart from that, federation, you should be knowing federation, which is where you're delegating the authentication of OCI console to another identity provider like Identity Cloud Service or Microsoft Active Directory Federation Service, which is ADFS or third party single sign on server like Okta. And once you understand this multi-factor authentication and federation, then you should definitely be doing these labs. So how do you create users, groups, policies, create compartments, assign resources into compartment, apply these policies to the compartment or do these federations? Now, if you want a full list of what all hands-on you should perform in order to not only clear the certification, but understand OCI very well, you can go to this URL k 2 forward slash 1701072 05, where 1701072 represents the exam number and 05 is a number to go to the full list of all the hands-on we recommend in order to not only clear the exam, but also learn OCI as an expert. Well, that's me Atul from team k 2 Academy talking about first topic that's identity and access management you should be knowing or learning in OCI. So you should be learning things like users, groups, instance principle, and then compartment and policies. You should also be learning about tags and then federation. If you're watching this video on our YouTube channel or some other social platform, I'm going to put more details on our blog, which is k2nacademy.com forward slash OCI 13. So if any new information is being added into identity nexus management, I'll put it there. Now in the next episode, I'm going to talk about the second important topic, which is networking, covering both basic networking and advanced networking. We'll talk about this diagram that includes the network component you should be learning in OCI. So networking component like VCN, subnet, security list, internet gateway, dynamic routing gateway, different other type of gateways you should be learning. So to ensure that you don't miss out that video, 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or for email notification at ketoneacademy.com forward slash subscribe. I'll talk about networking in my next video. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon anything or if you want to learn the core concepts discussed, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class for Cloud for DBAs, What's New along with Q&As. Under this free class, you'll be learning about the recent changes in Oracle. You'll be learning about why DBAs should learn cloud and what exactly to learn. There will be a demo for you. You'll be learning about the job opportunities in cloud along with 12 weeks roadmap that is from beginners to the expert Oracle Cloud DBA. So in order to register for this class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash cloud DBA 02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now. And after that, you just have to select your event date according to your availability. Enter your full name, your email address, your phone number and click on register now. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link. You just have to save that link to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.